Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to get the characteristic equation, the speed torque equation of separately excited DC motor. In case you want to understand the background behind these equations, then these videos are dedicated for this reason. So for separately excited DC motor, let's see the circuit diagram from Ohm's law. The field current IF equals the field supply or voltage divided by the field resistance. So this is field current and this is the field voltage and this is field resistance and on the right hand side we can apply Kirchhoff voltage law to have the following by applying Kirchhoff voltage law VA will equal EA. Some references they call it EA, some of them they call it EB. Any symbol it is okay, but we have to understand that this represents back in. So EA plus RA IA. You remember last time we said that some equations will be required so here we can recall ea which was also eb in the last video equals what k phi omega which is also equal to d if omega which is also equal to D. Don't forget that IF equals to VF over RF. VF omega RF. And also, we know that the torque, so here the shaft, and it is rotating. So the torque equals Q phi I A. So I A will equal torque divided by Q phi. So let's say this one is equation number one. And this one is equation number two. And this one equation number three this one this one so by substituting two and three in one we will get the following The armature voltage will equal K phi omega plus R A T over K phi. We want omega to be the subject of this equation, so we have to take it out. So here key phi omega will equal VA minus RA T over key phi. By dividing both sides by key phi, we will have omega equals VA over T phi 
minus R A T K phi square. So this is the characteristic equation of separately excited DC motor. And also we can derive the other equations which are used in some references. So here we said that K phi equals D I F. So the other equation will be omega equals V A over D I F minus R A T over D I F square. And by the way, this one is used by multisim. National instrument multi sim software, which is a very important engineering software. So, this is the other equation that can be used to represent the speed torque characteristic of a separately excited DC motor. Also, don't forget that IF equals VF divided by RF. So we can say that omega also equals VA over D, VF over R. F minus R A T divided by D V F over R F square. So Omega will equal this R F will go up. And also this R F square will go up. So here we will have R F V A over D V F minus R A R F square T over D V F square and this is the other characteristic equation by these equations we can see the speed behavior of separately excited DC motor by knowing the torque or if V A is variable or VF is variable and also sometimes they use variable field resistance so we can also change the speed thank you so much and we will see you in the next video goodbye